Hello guys and welcome back to another video of the PyCord full bot tutorial series. Today we'll be taking a look at hosting a bot for free 24-7. So for this we're going to use a website called SillyDev, so Silly Development, which offers free hosting for Discord bots. So we have 24-7 uh, uptime for a bot. So if we scroll down here after you go to sillydev.co.uk when you go to this website, I'll leave a link in the description, you can go down here and just go to the free tier and click join today. Right now I already have an account so it just logs me in, but you can just go ahead and create an account and then log into it. Once you've done that, you can see up here we have earning 4 credits per minute and also you have 544 credits available. So what you need to do is wait until you have about 35 credits or so I believe and then you will be able to create your server. It should go pretty quick, it should just take a few minutes. Once you have those credits, you can go here to the store tab and click create a server. So here's where we'll create the server for a bot. So we'll just name this something like PyCord bot server. You can name it whatever you want basically. I'll remove the description and we have 75% CPU limit from the beginning so we'll just leave these at default we can purchase additional later on though for credits so here <coughs> we'll leave this as default as well down here at deployment we want to select the nodes and everything we want to use so here we want to use berry uk you need 35 credits we want to use that one and for the server nest we want to use code language code languages and for the server egg, we want to use Python. Then we can just go ahead and click create, and it will create the server. So it will just run the installer for the server, and once that's done, I'll get back to that when it has finished installing. Alright, so the server has finished installing now. We have this little console here. So now, if we would go to settings for example we can see server name and everything can also delete it or reinstall it and here we have startup we can choose our python version and everything but what we want to do is upload our uh, files for this bot uh, so if we go to files we can just click upload to upload something so what we want to do for that is just go ahead and upload we can go ahead and just create a new directory, but first we want to upload the main.py file. We'll just go through this PyCore tutorial. I want to upload the main, can also upload the requirements, also the .m and the cogs. We'll not do the cog. We'll do these three files, click open, it will upload those files. Then what we want to do is create a new directory, we'll name this cogs and in this directory we want to upload the files in the cogs folder here so these three files there is another way to do this uh, so if you have your bot in a github repo already you can just go to startup and put the branch the repo address your username and your access token and it will automatically pull all the files from github when you start the server so that's a bit smoother to do if you're using github now what we want to do is uh, take a look at how to install packages so either you can just have the requirements.txt and we can see that here we can actually put a requirements file and it will automatically install all packages listed in it but we can also do and just put these in this additional python packages but for now we're just going to use the requirements.txt so for running the server we can just go to console and click start and it will automatically install all the packages let it install python.env we have pycode and everything and the bot is starting and it logged in as the bot. What we can do now once we are actually started this server, the bot is running, 
is to go to a channel in the server or bodison and use the ping command. And the ping is actually not too bad for it to be a paid server. It responds uh, a free server. It responds pretty quickly. And we can see all the other commands working the same way. It starts the ticketing system properly. And actually responds pretty quick. So this is how to set up a bot and everything using silly development. And you can of course use this for not just uh, Python bots, but also JavaScript bots and all those stuff as well. Later on in our tutorial, we'll also be going over creating some databases for economy system and warnings and stuff. And silly development is perfect for that as well, because we have this databases tab with three databases for free actually. And then we can purchase additional full credits. And if you you can also use this backups feature and take backups of your files here. So in case you mess something up, you can just go back and revert to this backup. If you do have the money there, it is very cheap still for the paid tier. You can buy that and you'll get better uptime for your server as it is not overloaded by all the others that don't pay. You also have uh, higher resource options, including 175% CPU instead of 75% on the free tier. Also 4000 megabytes of RAM and 5000 of storage, which is actually really good. You'll also be able to choose different hosting options on the pay tier. You can host game servers for Minecraft as well, for example. And you get access to a paid node, increased resource limits, also better support and more server types. So if you have the money, I definitely recommend the paid tier. The uptime will be much better, but it will be good now as well on this free tier. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And in the next one, we'll probably set up GitHub repo for a bot and setting up for silly dev here. So it will automatically pull from GitHub instead once we restart a bot. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.